as a Malabite. Is that what they taught you in school? That you will lift lies and propagate it. Is that what they taught you at school? Ten months old lie brokers. You think you are talking to somebody who cannot eat you back? <laughs> you, you should have known me now. This is how you raise all manner of hell on the Awolowo issue in Lagos. And you failed woefully. You have written all sorts of jargon with non gote baking baby, long, long English that avails nothing. You that was deputy governor, shamelessly deputy governor, and are complete to a drug addict, deputy governorship candidate to a drug addict, to a drug baron, Buruji, who was wanted. You hit off government, you hit off black, brown envelope, you, you hit of handouts your PAD is just an ego clutches which you are using to blackmail and do GBT OBT of turning by false pretense it's not somebody like me you can blackmail Mr. Bati you have no moral you are nobody other than the toilet paper certificate which grant you a doctor of nothing i won't even waste my bread on that idiot called sorry an outcast i won't waste my bread on him but you i will give it to you what 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 lily pushans like you who cannot see giants who cannot see giants your world view is to live in your cocoon of dwarfs. You are writing so that tomorrow, when the government of Ahmed Bola Tinibu cannot contain Boko Haram element insurgents in the east, you will turn back to say, did we not say that Ahmed Bola Tinibu will fail? And you say, ooh, ooh, you will, you will now dwell on that. But you will fail. Nobody will listen to your advice because you don't even have an advice. You are an envious person. A person who is filled with jealousy and envy. You want Ahmed Bola Tinibu to fail. If Buhari government can engage me, if Buhari government can engage me to bring safety and safe passage for the people on the Abuja Kaduna road, it should be commended. What is wrong? Do you know how many lives you have changed, saved? Do you know how many people were brought from depression and trauma? Have you ever talked to people who have been kidnapped? But you have met your Waterloo. Because I will not leave you alone. And I, I ask you not to leave me alone. I will take you to the gutter. Ruben Abati. I, Alaji Mujahid, Michael Dokbasari, I promise you I will take you to the quarter. And you will never come out of that quarter. Look at who is talking. A thief. Money that you embezzled under good laws government. Assigned to your office. You did not do anything good for good luck. At the end of the day, he left office. The next thing, you want to be deputy governor with a, 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 a convicted drug lord. People who are supposed to talk, no, they talk. Now, teens like you, teens like you, useless parasites like you, are the people who wants to talk. I don't run away from battle. You are happy that Igbo cannibals have come up. Igbo land is no longer safe. There's a video trending. One Biafran Liberation Army, as they call themselves. I'm going to wipe them out. Mark my words. Very soon, I will hunt them down and wipe them out. They attacked the army. A live video, they were shooting. They, they said, they, how many people are running? How many people are running? You didn't see that video. I will send the video to you. We did not employ ourselves. The government saw the potentials in us. 
the capacity in us and knowing that you can deliver and engage them. That Buhari government engaged in me shows that they know who I am. I was not a friend of Buhari. Unlike you people, for seven years, I was anti-Buhari. Buhari, with all that, saw the capacity in me that I am capable. And the government came, asked me, those terrorists you are promoting, in the name of fighting Ahmed Bola Tinibu, that you are promoting those terrorists, ESN, now Biafran Liberation Army, the way I decimated ESN, I am going to decimate them. In a few days' time, you will start to hear when I will hunt them down. They cannot cause headache to ordinary people who just want to go out, feel safe, and make their livelihood. Bring food to their children at home. They will not go outside and get harassed. They will not go outside and not come back. They will not go outside and get killed by people for no reason other than that they are evils. And their fellow bloodthirsty evils want to kill them. Name of fighting for Biafra. When in actual fact, these are arm robbers. They are arm robbers. You support them because of your hatred for Ahmed Bola Tinibu. Your prayer that Ahmed Bola Tinibu government should fail so that you clap, so that you say, uh, Is it not what we said? And then there are rogue elements like you, rogue journalists. There are rogue elements within the army. Rogue elements within the army. Who some of whom are sympathetic. Sympathetic to these insurgents. Some of these people are sympathetic to these insurgents. And if we allow them, they will sabotage. And they had always sabotaged the effort of the military. These are the people you are party. You are party. A rogue journalist is supporting. These are the elements you are supporting. You don't know the pains that people go through. You don't know how people will live their own. Almost all the traditional rulers in Imo and Anambra are not living in their state. They are either in Abuja, Asaba, or Portacourt because their lives are not safe. They are being killed. Their palaces are being born. All the divisional police headquarters, police posts in Anambra State have been burnt. Guns carted away. Policemen cannot wear their uniform and walk freely. If they do, they will be killed. You are happy with it because you want Ahmed Bola Tinibu to fail. This is not a government, the type of government that you know. This is a government that is out to change the life of the people in a positive direction in 360 degrees. 360 degrees. This is a government that is out to say to change our 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 income, to change our livelihood, to change our happiness, to make us a people that can stand up to all other nations. We visit Dubai, we visit Qatar, we visit other oil producing states. We will see the wonders. I mean Saudi Arabia. You see the oil money is doing. Why is our own different? Because there are people like you who bring toilet paper certification to work with rogue elements to continue to steal and plunder the resources of states. Continue to steal and plunder the resources of states. And you write all sorts of long, long English to cover up. This is not the government. We know your tricks. And President Ahmed Bola Tinibu know you people's tricks. You cannot deceive the people. The people will triumph over you people. With the help of God, with the help of God on the side of Ahmed Bola Tinibu, Inshallah, we will succeed and shame all of you. Those who are writing petition write, you don't have the facts. So when you write, 
a video that was not even directed at Igbos. Uh, manipulate the video, distort the video, they could not. If I was referring to the Igbos, I would say, I don't know where these Igbos come from. If it is British, I will still be silent then. I was talking to, you read English, you should know that I was addressing somebody else who is not an Igbo. I will not be saying it's not everybody that is Kalawari. This Kalawari, people own it. I won't be saying that to Igbo. Are Igbo Kalawari people now? But <laughs> you are, you are, study of English meant nothing because you are a rogue journalist who want to create a mischief and you failed woefully. I from Saudi Arabia, me, I don't run. When, so that write all your petition. It's an open country, it's a democratic country. And I've never been afraid of detention. I have been detained 76 times. And in all that, I come out with my shoulders high because I have not committed any crime. If I'm fighting on behalf of government, what do I use? I use guns to fight. I don't use knives and spiritual powers. Yes, my followers can have some spiritual uh, and so on. I'm a Muslim. I took the kalima la ila ila la, but I will la sherika la. But shadow na ma madana do wa sulem. Allah is my fortress, but Nigeria is a free state. And as a Muslim, my you see that's why I'm in Saudi Arabia. At all time I come here, and I get spiritually fortified for rogue elements like you people. So you can go on to threaten, you can go on to say all manner of things, all sort of things you will surely fail you can go on to say all manner of things you will surely fail because i know send you